fucking delicious. Do do do, playing the piano, dun dun song. Ba 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 ba. This fucking soundtrack rocks. I like this game. I want it in my cocoa puffs. Um, I didn't know where I was going with that at all. Hey, hi, ho, and howdy, everybody. My name is Shannon Chuck, and welcome to yet again another episode of Ducky Ducky Literature Club with an exclamation point. In the previous episode, uh, we finished writing up our, what, third poem at this point, I believe? Uh, we also went to school, uh, went here to the club, at, to the club, get in the club, getting tipsy, yeah, uh, um, went to the club, uh, and some things happened. Uh, Monica and I both came in quite late. Uh, she, her doing her piano goodness. Uh, and, and there was there, and Yuri was there, and Sayori was there, and Atsugi was there. Um, Sayori was having some problems. She was having a down day. She wasn't, she wasn't having a very good time. I think we all know what the reason is. It's uh, my fucking fault, because everything in this fucking game is my fault, and it's guilt-tripping me to all fucking back. Thank you, game! Um... So we went to go talk to her. Turns out, she didn't want to fucking tell us nothing. Monica went to go talk to her. Turns out, she wants to tell her stuff, I guess. Uh, and then uh, then we hung out with Natsuki, read a little more. Then we all went to go share off all those poems of ours. Yuri didn't give a fuck. She, was, she didn't even want to look in our fucking general direction. Because of my fucking fault, obviously. Again, I'm, I'm the worst. <laughs> I don't know if you figured that part out yet. Um, uh, then Sayuri went home early because she was having a bad day and wanted... Also, presumably, to go cry herself to sleep because of my fucking dumbass. And then we shared poems with Natsuki, and she gave us a poem that was very um, emotional related towards us. And uh, it made me want to cry. And then she got kind of sad and weepy a little bit, but in like a good way. Like, what I can say is it's going well. In a, it's sad, but it's going well. It's, we can we can win her son win her heart over um and then and then we talked to monica for a little while that was how that ended yeah it was the funny thing too is we only got two poems that time we got monica's poem and atsuki's poem because yuri did literally walked up to yuri and she's like no don't want anything to do with you and sorry left early so we didn't do anything like that she left after she saw our poem and realized it was very Natsuki oriented, even though it was very Sayori oriented as well. I was scared at, for a second that it was going to be a Sayori based poem. I think Natsuki only won out by like one or two fucking words. I don't know. It's it's a thing. Also, Monica fucking knows everything because she's a goddamn she's 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 God. I think she is. I think that's what this is all is a metaphor. She's. The God King Monica. Um, anyway, let's continue on. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out... Uh, just hold on a second there, Missy. Is it just me, or did you say something strange just now? Uh, no. Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. C catchphrase? <laughs> I don't have a catchphrase. <laughs> Chase, why is the mood so weird today? Um, it's entirely possible that it's all my fault. Good job, Shannon. Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Uh, stagnating air is a common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Sayori isn't here. Uh, it seems you're right. <sighs> Sayori always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to, anyway? I bet she just went to me. E! E! Oh, God! Natsuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on! Ah, uh, she wasn't actually feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. I hope she's alright, too. Seriously? Of all the times not to go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. 
What? No! First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Ooh. That curious expression coming from Yuri of all people? Calm down, everyone. I talked to her earlier and everything is fine. What'd she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparations, so... Did you just fucking... B bitch, answer my question. Let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. Natsuki will be making cupcakes. Mm. For you, girl, I'll, I'll make an exception. But we might mean but we might need a lot of them in different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. Yeah. And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Sari will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri, Yuri, you can um <laughs> uh guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I... I'm useless. No, 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 no. That's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know. Ugh. Now, now. Natsuki's pouting, too? Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I never even gave Sayori enough credit, but she can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. I can tell... Damn it. Uh, that may be the case. But if I can't also be the leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So, Yuri, you have a be- you have- uh, you have beautiful handwriting, do you not? So you should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that. I- I love atmosphere! Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at the desk and focus and starts nodding to herself. Don't we all, girl? Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, fool. The one who is truly useless. <laughs> do not say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. Don't make me fucking chew. I'm gonna tear this fucking entire club apart just because I love Natsuki so goddamn much. I'm starting to get the impression, though, at least in this early half of the game, that, yeah, no, doing different routes for each of the different girls would have a significant change, or at least relatively significant change. So I might actually go through and play multiple runs of this game. It depends on how much the ending fucks my entire life up. Um, it would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. I would be really appreciative of that. Ah, uh, that's... Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to such a suggestion like this? Oh my, I've caught your accent, girl. Uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give to you. It's not like Monica's gonna give me any choice, and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Girl, you know you fucking love me. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Shannon may not like to be around if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore, you two can just not stop fucking bickering at each other. Jesus. He may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Hold on, I never fucking said that. Don't you fucking tell- don't you- God damn it. How hard would it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for Shannon to- What- what are you saying? It'll be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't- What just- what do you think? Everyone, shut the fuck up. Let us settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it is up to Shannon to decide how you'd like to contribute. Oh my fucking shit, god damn it. Ah, why? God damn it. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? <laughs> so I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just fucking said. I am surprised as well. 
It's, it's, so sorry, sorry. I was just saying, though. Jeez. Uh, Can we just settle this already? Yes. Shannon, you're okay with this, yes? In the end, it is up to you. Oh, no. Of course. Hmm. Very well. In that case... Everyone looks straight at me. Oh my god damn it. I, this fucking game is just toying with my fucking emotions. I, no, you know what? I can't even... No, we're just... We're, we're, com we're committed. We're committed at this point. Natsuki is the one for us. She is our one true love at this point. I'm committed. I'm sorry. I will play through different routes this game, and I will pick different people for different things. But for right now, I'm sorry. It's Natsuki all the way. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm sorry. Monica, you're being very cool. I don't mean to uh, harsh your buzz. You seem like you're having a good time. You could probably use some help. I understand that's not the easiest or funnest thing to do. I understand baking is a lot more fun than making fucking pan flits. And I understand that you're, you're kind of jelly and you you want to have someone assist your art. I understand this. I understand this. I understand that Sayuri is having a rough time because of this shit. But you understand that I've committed. I've, I've done it. I'm, I'm here. I'm, I'm with it. I'm... <sighs> I don't like this. I don't like making these decisions. I don't fucking approve. Well, I mean, baking sounds like it could be fun, and you guys made it sound like a lot of work, so it could probably use two people. Don't worry, baking is a ton of fun. You'll definitely agree. Uh, just a minute ago, you were saying that that is that's because. Never mind. Okay. Well, anyway, you'll be fine by yourself, right, Yuri? Of course. I'm used to it after... Oh. Yuri, I know you're not doing it on pur- At least I don't think you're doing it on purpose. But you're fucking with me, and I don't approve. <sighs> this game is fucking legit. This is mean. This game is just mean to me. That's, uh, good. Even though Yuri's being melodramatic, it's a little hard not to feel bad. So, that's everything, right? Anything else we need to talk about? No, I think that's it. Are you guys excited? Also, excuse me, that was disgusting. Oh, unladylike. Yes! I fucking love her smile, look at this. This is a fucking grin from ear to ear. Everything except for the performance is gonna be awesome. I don't think that that really counts. What about you, Shannon? Huh? Oh, I, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. Well, that is good enough for me. I just noticed fucking Yuri's still sitting over here with this fucking upset-ass face. Stop it. You're hurting my feelings. Um, what about you, Yuri? Yuri? She's still sulking. Ah, damn it. Natsuki starts pouting, too. It's not... It's not that big a deal or anything. Oh, well, it might not just be that. Huh? I think that Yuri might just be feeling a little underappreciated in general. Having to come up with something for her to do and then nobody offering to help. Well, that doesn't mean... Ugh. Natsuki glances back and forth between everyone with a worried expression. Look! Natsuki goes over and puts her hands down on Yuri's shoulders. Yeah, you mean you reach all the fucking way up there? Yuri, you really are the most talented one here. And you're gonna help make the event a lot more fun and welcoming. I mean, the cupcakes will probably help a lot too, but you're gonna make the atmosphere special. That'll be really important for the way people feel during the performances. So, you need to stop being dumb and give yourself a little more credit. Natsuki releases her hands and turns around to face the other direction. Come on, Yuri, smile, please. You didn't really mean that, did you? Um, not really, but Yuri isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken aback by Natsuki's words. Natsuki, of all people, to be saying such encouraging things. But I begin to understand. 
Natsuki was trying to sound like, like Sayori. Even if it didn't work out perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori always helps someone, everyone smile and feel good about themselves. I'm sorry for being dumb. I'm going to do my best. And all of us are going to make it a really great event. Yeah. Yes. I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it is time for us to head out. Okay, but I'm going to stay here a bit longer. I barely got to do any reading today, so... Fair enough, there is nothing wrong with that. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Yuri out the door as they chat between each other. Um, the fuck do you think you're doing? Uh... We still need to figure out plans for this weekend. It's true. She's got you there, man. What are we going to do? How are we going to attack this cupcake situation? Full frontal assault? Sneak attack. What do you think? You literally would have gotten home and realized that you didn't even have a way to contact me. Oh. She blinded me with science. Um, I have no idea how that slipped my mind. Jeez, it's a good thing I sapped you. I'm giving you my number, okay? <laughs> Can I make it weird or anything? Why would I do that? Begins to write in diary. Holy shit, it happened. Um, <sighs> Natsuki gives me her number. Okay, I'm coming over on Sunday. I'll bring all the ingredients. W wait, wait! You're coming t to my house. Well, yeah. What's wrong with that? I, I mean, I just figured that I signed the one help and I'll be going to your house. Yeah, right. Like I could have a guy over at my house. Again, I'm assuming her parent situation is fucked up. Like, I just, I, I get, like, I know there's been literally two lines and neither of them have been that bad. But just the whole, like, her talking about how every day is a fucking, like, really rough thing for her. And just the little things, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming the absolute worst. And I don't like that. I don't like, don't do bad things to my favorite character. My dad would kill me. Again, please, dear her dad, don't be a monster. I get it if you're like an overprotective guy, and that's like, oh, it's just the overprotective dad. But please don't be a fucking monster. That's kind of strict if you ask me. Yeah, how the hell do you think I feel? Can't do anything when my dad is home. Anyway, I just need to complain for a second. We need each other. We have each other's numbers now. That's all I needed from you. Guess I'll text you when I'm coming over. Uh, all right. Fine by me. Yeah. I'm really gonna show you why I love bacon so much. So you better look forward to it. Oh? Didn't you say you were just gonna give me the dirty work? I was just, I was just saying that. I just felt like I could act. In front of everyone, I was looking forward to this. Wait, wait, really? Well, for me? Well, kind of. Just because I never got to bake for someone else before. That's all it is, so... All right, I get it. Sorry for overreacting. Anyway, I'll be heading out now. See you on Sunday. Uh, never mind. Oh, don't, don't you never mind me, goddammit. I cannot believe this. Oh my goodny golly golly gumdrop. Fuck. Natsuki is going to be coming to my house on Sunday. <laughs> my anxiety shoots through the roof. You're in the middle of the street. There is no roof, son. <coughs> <coughs> Even though I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point, there's no telling what might end up happening when we're outside of school. More than that, she told me she was looking forward to it. Is this the chance I have to make something happen between us? Or is it too early for that? Only time will tell. But until then, I ain't gonna be able to take my mind off it. I seriously can't wait! <gasps> oh, so giddy with excitement! Yay! Tomorrow will be brighter with me around. But when today is dim, I can only look down. My looking is a little more forward because you look at me. When I want to say something, I say it with a shout. But my truest feelings can never come out. My words are a little less empty because you listen to me. Oh, this is... I'm li I'm a legitimately fucking tear up here. Don't you do this to me. Um, 